What we now need to do is bring in some of the larger metal, so choose place, into the VEX folder, choose structure, and select the chassis bumper 15 hole part, and bring in two of these. What we're now going to do is go into some of these parts together. So first of all, choose constrain, choose mate, and we're going to choose this underside edge here, and make that to this surface here. Select OK. We're going to now choose the underside edge of this front bumper and make that to the top surface of the chassis. Select OK. Our last constraint will be to make this inside edge here from the bumper onto this inside edge here. We're going to choose to run them flush, select OK. And what we've now done is we've now set that chassis frame into position here. We can now move this to roughly the right position and we can now constrain these in place. So let's now repeat the process on the other side. So again, all we need to do is choose constrain and this inside edge here will correspond to this inside edge here. It will be flush, we select OK and this should now give us our rigid tumbler structure. As you can see nothing now moves. We now need to fit the second bumper to the back and we're going to repeat this process again. So initially we're going to choose mate, we'll choose the under edge here and match that to this edge here. Rotating the model around we're going to choose to constrain this under surface here onto the top surface of this chassis here and last but not least we're going to choose to constrain the inside edge here to its corresponding inside edge here make them flush and select OK and we should now have the completed frame of the tumbler built. What we're now going to do is save this assembly, which we're going to call assembly 4 in this case. Select yes to all and go OK. And looking at this assembly and the real product, we might suggest that these two chassis sections are too far apart. So what we're going to do is close this assembly. We're going to open up the first assembly we created. So opening up our first assembly, what we can see is we can't click and drag this chassis closer to the corresponding chassis. So what we're going to do is click on the chassis part that we want to move, expand it, and we want to remove some of the mate constraints that have been set up that are stopping this from moving. So first of all we have a mate constraint here, which we're going to remove by right clicking and choosing delete. And underneath the corresponding shafts, we're going to also remove the first flush from each of these, like so. We should now be able to move this and slide this around. And what we're now going to do is now choose to save this assembly, open up the new assembly, With your main assembly open, double click on the sub assembly and choose from this shaft here to expand to see what mates you've created. And here we have a number of mates which are the internal services. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose one last constraint to lock this shaft into the correct position here. So choose constraint, select the top surface select this edge and select flush and we're going to offset this distance by by 18.7 millimeters if the shaft moves in the negative direction add a minus and it will bring it out to protrude out select OK and if we now double click back into the main assembly on the model tree we should now see that our entire assembly is now spaced correctly choose save 
choose yes all and select OK. And we'll now move on to fitting some of the nuts and screws.